my luck was not uh, that good last time around, and it was wonderful to win the uh, caucus uh, and to have that experience of all the hard work, the grassroots organizing pay off the way it did. Uh, now we're here in New Hampshire, and we are going to have a contest of ideas. Hillary Clinton earlier today on CNN celebrating what she's calling a win in Iowa, despite razor-thin results. It's worth another look. Basically, Secretary of State Clinton and Senator Bernie Sanders in a dead heat. Clinton with 49.8 percent, Sanders 49.6 percent. Clinton camp declared the winner, but the margin is so close. Did Hillary really win in the Hawkeye State, and how do you define that victory? Let's talk about it more with Edward Klein. He's the author of the New York Times bestseller, Unlikable, The Problem with Hillary. And he joins us, quite fittingly, from Newsmax, New York. Uh, so, Ed, Hillary has uh, done a great job of making people think she won, but her margin of victory could concern some establishment Democrats. If she doesn't do better in New Hampshire, and she's not expected to, Will another Democrat candidate emerge? You know, it reminds me of um, Churchill say saying, some chicken, some neck. I, with Hillary, <laughs> it's some organization, some caucus. I mean, she couldn't beat a 74-year-old guy with a Brooklyn accent who says he's a socialist by more than two percentage, 0.2 percentage points. I think it's quite a disaster for her, quite frankly. And I think she should have a lot to worry about. And according to my sources, she and Bill, who suddenly now is taking a much larger role in the campaign than he has up to now, are saying to themselves, hey, do we have the right campaign staff? Are we doing the right thing? They're rethinking their whole campaign. Ed, of course, you reported at length about uh, an interesting dinner that Hillary and uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren had a while back. Uh, thus far, Senator Warren has declined to endorse a candidate, but we are hearing reports that she's planning to announce an endorsement soon. Who do you believe Senator mm. Warren will choose? Well, that's a very good question. And the question really relates to Will Senator Warren go along with the White House and the establishment of the Democratic Party and back Hillary, or will she follow her heart and her ideology and back Bernie? Obviously, she and Bernie seem much more eye to eye than she and Hillary. It's impossible to predict, but if Senator Warren is as shrewd a political operative as I think she is, I think she's probably likely to back Hillary Clinton because Hillary, even now with that disaster in Iowa, still looks like the most likely nominee. Let me ask you one other thing. You raised the specter of the White House. And recently, Bernie Sanders went by there, had a sit down with President Obama. Was that just courtesy or was there something more to that visit? I think there was a lot more to that visit. I think they talked about endorsements, whether the president was going to endorse one or the other, and if so, when. I don't think Bernie came out of that meeting feeling very good about what he heard. I don't think the president is likely to endorse Bernie at any particular time because, after all, Bernie would not continue the legacy the way Hillary would. So I, I think Bernie's meeting with the president which was one of his rare meetings, by the way. They had never met before except for two times. Uh, I don't think it went that well. Well, something else not going well for Hillary or really the entire Democratic Party and, dare I say, the Obama White House, this ticking time bomb of the former secretary's emails. We know the story by now. Uh, the 22 emails on that unsecured home server with information so sensitive that... We'll never see those. Are we going to see continued problems? How serious is her email problem? And doesn't this really rate in the real world as a disqualifier for Mrs. Clinton? Well, you know, I have a blog called edwardkline.com, 
and I put out a blog called Ed Klein Confidential through Newsmax. And today I posted a blog that said for the very first time, the FBI has approached Hillary's three closest aides, Huma Abedin, Cheryl Mills, and Jake Sullivan, the inner, inner circle of Hillary, and told them that they are going to be interviewed by the FBI about these emails. And I'm also told that each one of them has lawyered up and has decided to dis distance themselves from Hillary's campaign so that their problems will not spill over into her campaign. Well, you say they distance. This may be one of the biggest stories about the emails so far. It is huge, and mindful of those three uh, aides to Hillary, and getting lawyered up and separating themselves. Uh, are any of them willing to take on criminal blame to try and keep Hillary and political consequences at a distance for her? Thirty seconds. Hard to say. Will Huma and Cheryl and Jake throw themselves under the bus and uh, keep quiet, or will they blab about what they know in order to save their own skins? I don't think anybody can tell you the answer to that question. Ed Klein, you always manage to report news and in the process make news for us. Thanks for uh, sharing what was confidential there at Newsmax.com with our Newsmax TV audience. Again, Ed Klein, the author of Unlikable, The Problem with Hillary. Certainly, Hillary has a set of problems. Will they prove to be fatal politically? And what about Marco Rubio? Does he have new life in the Republican Party? We'll talk about that next.